parametric equations and polar coordinates. Parametric equations in 2D are two functions, x of t and y of t, that exist on the same domain. Together, the equations produce an x and y coordinate that is plotted on a graph. x and y are both in terms of t. This is the parameter, which is usually re represented for time. This graph is a plane curve. This is because the graph lies on the xy plane. The arrows drawn in this curve indicate the orientation, which is the direction of the curve as the value of t increases. Parametric equations can also be used to graph circles, ellipses, and parabolas. The arc length of a parametric equation is the sum of the distances between its points. The distance between each set of points is calculated by using the Pythagorean theorem. The more points on the curve, the more accurate the arc length becomes. Therefore, if we have infinite points, we can get the exact arc length. This equation is used to calculate the arc length, which is represented by the variable s. Now, let's do an example. We will calculate the arc length for the parametric equation x equals t cubed minus 4, y equals t squared minus 3, when t is greater than or equal to negative 2, and less than or equal to positive 2. Using the given equation, we calculate the derivative of x and y and continue to find the integral. Finally, we get the value of 160 to the power of 3 over 2 over 108 for the value of s. The surface area of a parametric equation is as follows. The first equation is the general equation. As we can see, the surface area is composed of taking the integral from a to b of 2 pi times the radius times the arc length dt. The other equations are more specific to how the equation is re revolved around a line. Now let's do an example. We will calculate the surface area of the parametric equation x equals 2t, y equals 2 cos t, revolved around the x-axis on the domain t is greater than or equal to 0, and less than or equal to pi over 2. Using the equation for surface area, we plug in the needed values. We then use a graphing calculator to integrate the area we get 28.847199. Polar coordinates. The rectangular coordinate system is the most commonly used system. The polar coordinate system uses two values, the distance between the point and the origin, and an angle in radians from the positive x-axis in the counterclockwise direction. Each polar coordinate must satisfy both of the following requirements, r squared, is equal to x squared plus y squared and tan theta is equal to y over x. We will now convert polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. Let's use the polar point 2 comma negative pi over 3. By using our knowledge of trigonometry we can plug in the r and theta values to get x and y. The rectangular coordinate is 1 comma negative root 3. We will now convert rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. Let's find the polar coordinate representation of 3 comma 4. By using the Pythagorean theorem, the value of r is positive or negative 5. Also, we can use the formula tan theta is equal to y over x to isolate for theta, which is equal to arc tan 4 over 3. There are two answers. In the first answer, theta is, equal to, is in the first quadrant, so it corresponds with the positive r value. In the second answer, the negative r value is pi radians away from the positive r value, which means that we must add pi to the original theta value. You may notice that we added 2 pi n to both answers. This is to express the answers in all periods. If we did not add 2 pi n, the two answers would be expressed in the first period only. <laughs>